All right, everyone. Now, I know you love peonies just as much as I do. They're one of the most fabulous spring flowers. And here, right after the Mother's Day holiday here in Zone 6B, 7A, all good things must come to an end. Now, check out these peonies. They are done blooming. They're past their prime. And the question is, what should I do with my peonies after they stop blooming? Great question. Let me show you. Okay, so once your peony blooms have faded and fallen off, it's very important that you start to deadhead your flowers, okay? So what you want to do is take off the old flowers to promote more, you know, energy going to the, the uh, rhizome or the tubers of the, uh, the peony bush as it is. So it dedicates all this energy and photosynthesis into developing a nice strong root system, uh, energy storage to get it through to the next season. So very simply, let me show you what I'm going to do here. You take a peony bloom that is past its prime. And you want to come back here. I should bring this here. Now look, this is actually a good example. This flower here is technically still, still good, okay? That may only have a day or two left before it's washed out as well. You can come right back here to a little node like this. I cut it off just like this. Now that will go into the compost pile. Here is another example. You can see that all the peony, the flower petals are just, just gone, right? So what I like to do is, I mean, a lot of people might say, you just go back to the first node. I actually like to go back a little bit farther on the plant just to promote more of a bushier habit because it's gonna get kind of, you know, flopping around throughout the summertime. So here's another nice little cutting. Now here's a note on seeds and your peonies, okay? So let me show you that right here. Now, when it comes to plant propagation, peonies are most commonly propagated through divisions. Okay, so they're actually going to, in the fall, dig these guys up. You're going to divide them up and replant them into make another full-size peony bush. Okay, now what you don't want to do is let these right here, now these are the seed pods. Now, if yours have happened to be fertilized and they're starting to mature, you want to take these off, okay, because you're really just not going to grow peonies from seed, at least not very successfully. It's not very easy and the results are variable, okay? So you're gonna get much, much sooner and better results from using the division method. So just like the old spent peony flowers, what you wanna do is just take, see all these different, these buds here that are developing into seeds. I'm gonna go right back to here, pretty far down. Let's cut this whole thing off, guys. Now see that? That is all the energy that was your plant gonna produce into growing these and developing these into seeds are now, all the energy is now going to be directed back into the peony. Uh, rootstock as it were to develop a nice strong healthy vibrant system and vibrant plant that will be able to survive the summer and the fall and survive the winter going away and in the spring come back with an enormous amount of new beautiful blooms okay guys so here's a quick tip from the hillside gardener about how to deadhead your peonies why it's important and how you should do it all right guys thanks for watching until next time i'll see you out there at the hillside all right guys bye, -bye.